Washington National Cathedral was badly damaged when an earthquake occurred on August 24, 2011. On the following September 7, some areas of the Bishop's Garden, which is on a slope just south of the cathedral, were crushed when a crane being used to secure the pinnacles of the cathedral's central tower collapsed. The following photos were taken soon after the damage to the garden took place. The crane collapse and the natural deterioration of plantings called for a major renovation by All Hallows Guild. Members of the Guild, who have been stewards of the garden and cathedral grounds since being founded by Florence Brown Bratnall in 1916, are now working to restore them. Joe Lubke, who is the Director of Horticulture, recently gave a tour of the Bishop's Garden. He explained what happened and showed the extensive damage to the garden and nearby structures. When the crane collapsed, that's when the damage to the gardens were. Almost, the U almost screened that lamp pole. So you didn't, you know, now it feels like the cathedral's leaning over on top of you. Some, but not all, of the following photos are of areas damaged by the crane, while others show areas simply in need of planting and or restoration. Despite the damage to the garden by the crane and a natural deterioration over time, much beauty remains as the following photos of areas not damaged show. Looking ahead, Joe Lubke described some of the Guild's plans to restore the garden. The ge geometry of this interior space of the Bishop's Garden, returning to that 1930s idea of, of, of the space. So, wayside cross in the middle of the bed, the removing, so the, the, the prodigal son was actually brought into the garden in the early 60s. Okay. Um, creating that room on the south side. Uh, then the crane added this whole layer up, the upper layer, so to speak. Um, that was not something that we were even, had any intention of changing. Um, and then all of a sudden, that became the priority for us. The Bishop's Garden is open to visitors every day, free of charge, and self-guided tours and, quote, blooming plant notes are available on a post box in the garden. Guided tours for groups are available. To read more about the Bishop's Garden, All Hallows Guild, and how to make donations for restoration of the garden, visit the site listed below.